So let me get this straight. I'm a pedo because I have dated women and would date again women in their 20s. I am alt-right because I happen to think the Tumblr gender thing goes too far and I don't like uh, neoliberal candidates for president. I am uh, incel because I think cis men and women are different. See, these people are fucking... Oh my god, what the fuck? These people that say this stuff are just... They, they're so just ridiculous and I don't really like how our modern society is going with this online shit. These people, these terminally online people criticize me for commenting. So what, where this starts from is I misread this post on a social media platform about well, 18, people who said it's 18, it's fine, would probably date or probably go after someone younger anyways. <laughs> this post on the godless clatter ready or whatever the fuck. And it was some post on Facebook, some atheist, liberal crap post, right? So I say, well, what about the draft? Um, what about, are you going to stop the draft for 18-year-olds? Are you going to stop the, uh, uh, you going to stop treating them as criminal, you know, if, criminals as adults if they're 18? Are you going to, like, raise that, too? I just don't understand this whole thing. And, you know, it's not that I'm, like, sitting here, like, well, actually, it depends on what you mean by that, because I'm trying to get together with a group of guys to go out and, you know, do this stuff um, to get better with socializing, you know, and stuff like that. I'm, I'm actually doing this. So... I'm actually trying to do this, and you know, at this advanced age, and, and as bad as I have been at it. So, just being completely honest, I just want to get better with that stuff, you know. So, what am I going to do? It's like say, oh, I can't. I have to card everybody that's at a bar and have to be. They have to be over 25. Oh, that's problematic too. Oh, age gaps. Oh my God, it's terrible. Oh, they got to be 35. Oh shit. Okay. See this this whole arbitrary thing, and I don't think it's necessarily arbitrary. I'm just saying that it's a statement. It just offends me so much. So, just putting putting it upon that, I would say that this is just. I just have to stop. I just have to ignore these people that say this kind of stuff, and like think, well, would I date an 18 or 19 year old? Probably not, because they have so much of the life ahead of them. Would I sleep with one? Probably, depending on the context and the situation, as long as they consent and, you know, and it's all good. Um, and then that's the question. That's that's hypothetical. And people probably think, oh, well, you're, you're evil for saying that. No, it's just, I'm biologically a man who likes women, you know? Would I sleep with a 37-year-old? Yes. <laughs> I mean, if I'm attracted to someone, I'm attracted to them if they're an adult. Now, am I more likely to be tr attracted to an 18 or 19-year-old? Probably not. That's probably the truth. There's some, a lot of them look too, way too young, look a little weird, especially at this age. Am I likely to be attracted to a 25-year-old? Now, that's where we started getting into that gray area where I'm... Oh, some people are saying that's problematic too, which I find ridiculous. And they probably would call me a pedo or whatever for, for even saying, oh, it's not that I'm sitting here, well, you know, late teens, early 20s, like wanting that. But if it happens, it happens. You know, if it happened, it happened. If I had happened to meet someone, you know, doing a cold approach that I found attractive and they happen to be super young, I didn't even know, and they are legal to date, legal then I probably would do it. So that's my thought on that. It's not that I'm seeking that out consciously or something like that. So, because I, to, to be quite honest, and this is what I said, and then they were they're accusing me of all these things by, by asking these questions. The post was more about people that are probably more in, along the lines of a febophile, um, not pedo, by the way. It's a completely different thing. Of course, someone who's a pedo would say that. They'll probably tell, tell say that. <laughs> you're just a pedo. <laughs> well, okay, okay. You you sound really happy with your life arguing with someone online with such impassioned flair. So, no, I don't like that idea. So I'm just doing this as a rant. So, well, let's get let's get off of the sexual stuff and let's get to the uh, to the whole like 
political uh, clumping me together with people. Oh, I'm alt right. I'm I'm a right winger for you know this uh, woman uh, on YouTube that I watched was saying someone was calling her alt right on Twitter because she didn't like the acolyte. Just this this who are these people that are saying this crazy shit? And you know the problem is the crazy shit is also reinforced by some mainstream uh, of mainstream society when they, they say oh you're a, you're a you know a pedophile if you date someone in their 20s or which is completely ludicrous because you're not they're literally an adult I mean you can you can say it's a little borderline with 18 or 19 I'll, I'll give you that or if, as far as a febophile but saying that you can't you can't date someone that's 21 or up and I would just fucking I mean I to be completely honest, if someone told me that, I'm not a violent person, but, you know, I'd be tempted to get a screwdriver and just gouge their eyes out for being just a, such a moron. I'm just being completely honest. I'm just at my wit's end. Wouldn't be surprised if I do some violence to someone like that so one day if they... No, <laughs> probably wouldn't. I don't have time for violence. I'm trying to improve my life, so I don't really have time for that type of violence. But if they, they called me that for, like, dating a 22-year-old or 20... 24 year old or something like you're a pedal you're a pedal for doing that then they would get a uh a, you know dose of my mind at least so calling me alt right call me right wing you know all this stuff for questioning things for being actually left wing in the old sense is another pile of bullshit too so when i'm called right wing by someone that thinks you know, they think I'm right wing because I, I don't like corp corporations all that much or I like freedom of speech. Two things that the left were known for. Or, you know, I, I question Kamala Harris or something. That's just, it, I just, I don't get it. I just don't get how this happened, how people got so fucking dumb. And maybe I just didn't notice it when I was younger. Maybe they were just as dumb. I don't think they were. I don't think they were this stupid, this ridiculous, and this outrageously myopically stupid. Just, I don't, I don't know what else to call it. You know, I don't, it's just ignorant, dumb, in, you know, ill, illiberal. Actually, they're very illiberal. So I don't really get it. So they call me right, right wing, or they still call people alt right for not liking a fucking movie, or liking a you know comic book, not liking a comic book, or not liking a TV show. These people, and it's the same type of people that call me a pedo for liking twenty somethings. You know, it's just it's like, and I'm, that's not my exclusive thing. Recently, I really liked this, third, you know, someone who was thirty six. It's not like. I just like beautiful women. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with that? Only an incel would say they like beautiful women. You're an incel. Well, it hasn't been great for me lately, I'll be honest. But calling someone an incel for having an opinion is stupid. An incel, I don't like this slang, this new... We have to change words all the time. Racism means something different now. So does incel. People have changed the word incel. And it, mean, it doesn't mean someone that's like doesn't get laid. What if, what if a person, they might call someone that's like a, a player in incel. Like, what's the point of a word if it doesn't mean what it fucking means? I'm so sick of this shit. It really pisses me off. Just like calling people pedos for liking 20-somethings. I'd fuck a 22-year-old. Fuck you. I would. It's fine. Arrest me for that. <laughs> Arrest me for liking 20-somethings sometimes. And dating them, too. I've dated some of them. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Call the fucking presses. Call the fucking... Call the, the, the sex police. The morality squad. You know, you sound like fucking Mary... Or what is it? Is her name Mary Lighthouse or whatever from England? Or Tipper Gore or whoever the fuck. These moral fucking... Moral, moral sanctimonious piles of shit. Go fuck yourself. Who are you to say this? You know what, what's going on? And I thought about it today. You know, I know someone that was really sanctimonious, and he said all sorts of crazy shit to me that he was having it in his head. All sorts of really fucked up shit. So the more the more sanctimonious a person is, the more fucked up shit is in their head. They're probably thinking the stuff of, of this stuff. Like, of course they're going to associate uh, dating younger women with the p word. Of course, I already said it several times in the video. Of course, they're. Uh, uh, you know, they're going to say this kind of stuff and it's going to, because I think 
at the root of it is they're so afraid of this part of themselves, kind of like racists or homophobes. They're so afraid of, you know, and I think transphobes probably too, to some extent. Um, I can tell you about my own stuff because I've, you know, I've been, when it was when I was on the dating apps, which I might actually return to. I know it's it's a clusterfuck, but um, I would match with someone who was trans, and I would just be disgusted. I'll be honest, like not disgusted. I I was disgusted in this way, like uh, thinking about it. I'll just be honest. I admit it's kind of bad. You know, I admit it's not a good thing to have that kind of opinion. I just, it, it, you know, it just, because it's something, there's something weird about, a lot of them look very masculine in the face, and and they're they're not, they don't pass, the ones that are online especially don't pass any, very well, same with like polyamorous are online all the time, or, you know, anybody that's online dating, so it's like, ugh, you know, it, it kind of disgusted me, because it was like, the thought, because I'm not gay, I'm sorry, I don't like that look, and I'm not into trans women. I'm not looking for that. That's that's not what I'm. I like. I like pussy. I'm sorry. I'm vagina centered, centric, or they they came up with some new sexuality term for people that like vaginas a couple of months, like a year ago or something. It was some article. I'm like, what the fuck, man? All right. I'm straight, cis, scum, whatever you want to call it. Fine. I'm a straight. I'm a straight cis scum bag, alt-right, Nazi fucking pedo. Fine, you win, motherfucker. Fuck off. 